Today we're going to take a look at hammocking, why we might choose a hammock and how to set up a hammock. Um, first of all, it's important to pick a good site um, for hammocking. You want two trees, two sturdy trees, about three and a half to four metres apart. Um, if you're on your own, you want a tree that you can get both your arms round to tie the webbing. Um, if you can't, can't get your arms round, it's going to be a bit difficult to do that. Um, again, with choosing your site, you want to take a look above your site to check there isn't any dead wood that might be caught up and could fall overnight. Um, why we might choose a hammock? People choose hammocks for numerous reasons. Comfort, um, to get you off that wet winter floor. The, um, and uh, some people just find it more comfortable to get away from the lumpy bumpy uh, woodland floor. And you get an absolutely great view of the woods in the morning. Um, it's, it's lovely to wake up to the woodland and, and see that view. So let's take a look at setting up this hammock. Okay, so we've now taken the hammock out of its stuff sack and we've laid it out between the two trees. Uh, we'll just take a quick look at the components of the hammock. With this particular DD 2010 travel hammock, we've got a, a fine mosquito netting which keeps out all the British midges. You've got two layers of um, polyester, which um, the, the two layers is, is so that you can have a roll mat underneath for insulation. With your mosquito netting, you've got elasticated bungee just to hold that in position and raise it off your face. We've also got this black webbing, which is an improvement on the old webbing, it doesn't stretch. And over here, we've got a modification that we've done ourselves. It doesn't normally come like this with the carabiners, it normally just comes as one piece of webbing going through the hammock, so you've got a loop there. This is to stop the rain from seeping down the webbing and potentially soaking your hammock. If you want to learn more about this modification, visit our website Natural Bushcraft and there's an article there to show you how to do that. Hello, I'm going to show you now how to actually tie the hammock up. Um, this is a fairly straightforward way of tying the hammock and we'll keep it under tension as much as possible. The first thing you want to notice is how high we intend to put this hammock. We're going to have this up at about chest height and this is because these nylon hammocks with the webbing, as you sleep in them they sag and they do actually stretch quite a lot. So if you set it up much lower than this, you'll end up on the floor by the morning. What we're going to do now is we're going to take each end of our line here, our nylon webbing, and we're going to pass it around the tree. This is why Ashley mentioned earlier that you need to be able to get your arms around the tree. Give it a nice tug, make sure it's level. It's very important that you get your hammock level or you'll end up scrunched down one end of it during the night. Now what we're going to do now, you see we've got this V shape here. What we're going to do is we're going to tension that by bringing the line around the V shape and pulling it tight. See how that puts a kink in it? Now what that will essentially do is as it stretches, this will take up the additional tension. So hopefully, in theory, during the night, you won't actually sag quite as much as you would if you just tied it directly. We're going to do the same thing with the other line and pass that over the opposite way. So both lines are now going back the way they came. This puts a nice zigzag shape in the line and keeps it all under tension. What we do then is we pass the lines back around the tree and then we tie this end off. Straightforward, simply use a bow like you'd use to tie your shoelaces with because under tension from the two edges that's perfectly secure and when you come to take your, tie, your hammock down the next day just a case of pulling it and off it comes. Simple as you like. In the next stage Ashley will show you how to actually set up the mosquito net, what all that's for and how to actually use your hammock. Okay, so Justin's showed us how to tie up the hammock now, and we've got it set up here. Um, of course, on this beautiful day, for demonstration purposes, we aren't using a tarp, um, just so that you can see it clearly. Normally, you would probably want to set up your tarp first, you know, in, in case it's drizzling or raining, um, so that you can set up your hammock underneath in, in good conditions. So what we've done here, we've set up a, a separate ridge line, just a piece of paracord along the top. 
Um, the, and attached to this, we're using this bungee cord that DD have supplied. This is to suspend the mosquito net in and just give it a, a, a bit of give so that when you sit in it, it doesn't pull this too tight as the hammock might sink and cause any strains. We've also used just a, a small piece of holly here, um, putting it inside the loops to um, broaden the mosquito net in and lift it, um, you know, just give it a bit of structure there and lift it off your face when, when you're inside. With, um, in terms of the hammock, we've got the two layers there, that's, that's not where you get in, you've got your zips there to, to get in, but you've got an additional layer underneath. That's for your insulation. Uh, you can use a roll mat or a firm rest. Some people even like to use an under blanket, um, which is basically a, a blanket that hangs underneath, creating a cavity of air, which again is insulating you um, from that. Uh, some people might think that you know you lose a lot of, of heat to the ground. We all know that. But just by coming up to the trees and up here, you haven't lost that problem. You've still got the problem of air coming underneath you and cooling your back. So it really is important to use a roll mat there to keep you warm. Again, in terms of sleeping in the hammock, um, you can do that in different ways. You can just use a blanket, you can use a sleeping bag. Obviously it depends on the, on the seasons. You can use a sleeping bag and a bivy bag if it's really cold in winter. I, that's what I tend to do in winter. I use a bivy bag, sleeping bag and still a roll mat underneath. So in terms of getting into the hammock, we've got a double zip there. And it's just a matter of making sure the mosquito net, pull that up a little bit with your hands and maybe raise it onto your shoulders there. Pulling the material down underneath your bum and leaning back into it just like a seat. Alright, don't worry about leaning back into it, there's plenty of material back there to support you. Lift the mosquito net up and bring in your legs in. Alright, so you can see... That's done the job there of keeping that off my face, um, the mosquito netting and the bungee cord is doing a good job there.